In this video, I'll show you how to turn on assistive touch on your iPhone 16, 16 Plus, Pro and Pro Max. So let's get started. Step number one is to open the settings. Then you need to go down until you see accessibility. Click on this. Then you need to go down until you see touch. Then the first option should be assistive touch. Click on it and make sure you turn it on. Once you turn it on, you're going to see a button appearing on your screen. This could be moved on the edge at the place that you prefer. You can move it at any time, by the way. You don't have to decide right now a permanent spot. All right, so when you don't touch this button, you're gonna see it faded out, and when you use it, you're gonna see it appearing. Now, this button can be highly customizable. So what you need to do over here is under custom actions, you're gonna select what, what you want this button to do once you single tap it. So once you tap it once, what do you want to, to do? In my case, I made it so it goes back on the home screen. You can also choose what happens when you double tap. You can have, let's say, control center appearing. But again, simply by clicking here, you have a lot and lots of options. And you also have what happens when you long press. By the way, you're not obligated to choose something here. You see, for long press, I kept it uh, without anything because I don't want to do it um, by mistake. So I keep it to none. One feature that many people will use is to customize one of these, let's say single tap with open menu. When open menu is selected and you click on this assistive touch button once, there will be multiple options. It's up to you if you prefer that. You can modify this right over here. And you see the opacity here, as I told you, it goes down so you don't see the button as well as when you press it. Well, you can also customize this by clicking on idle opacity and you can make it stay like this all the time, you know, dark black like that. Or you can make it to 15%, which is, you know, it's even hard to see with the camera here. It's up to you to choose how dark and not dark the button is when you're not using it. And on top of that, you also have many, many other options. I won't go through there. I'm pretty sure it will take an hour to explain all of them, but you can go and experiment the other settings that this assistive touch option is offering to you. So thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe, and also leave a comment down below. This supports my channel. Thanks.